Thank you. So a little bit of aware from uh, conflicts. Uh, let's go back to the States and now what's there happening in the mediation field. Uh, small change in the program. Our next speaker will be Minda August Vajunas, also attorney at law and mediator. And he will talk a little bit about Lithuania and the mediation de development in our neighbor country. Uh, hello, everyone, uh, dear participants of the conference. A little bit changes in, in, in the schedule of the conference. This morning, I received the message that I will be that happy one, not the participant, but the speaker as well. So I became more, even more excited to, to come to the conference, of course. Um, I hope Vigita is watching us live, so I wish her well to get back to work and, and hope she, she will be healthy soon. So Lithuania, uh, could we, uh, a few words, of course, before starting a presentation about myself. So I am personally a practitioner, practicing lawyer, advocate, uh, and practicing mediator. Uh, well, how I see myself, probably I'm not the person to, to teach, uh, others how to do that because talking about mediation uh, when you sit in the chair of the mediator you will never know how it will work simply you have to go through the process and of course lectures teaching education is good enough but it's a question about the skills and competences of the mediator how in the uh, certain situation to talk with people Still, a mediation, uh, still, mediation is a new phenomenon in, in Lithuania. Yes, this is true. However, uh, last week we had uh, first court annexed uh, mediators uh, conference, uh, national uh, meeting, uh, uh, where it was told that more and more people uh, become aware about the mediation more and more cases are uh, given to the court mediation procedures. Still, uh, lawyers and advocates, uh, well, it's a question how they see the situation, and I uh, noticed that there will be a presentation about the advocates and peaceful dispute resolution later, so we will, it will be interesting to hear. Uh, Talking about mediation in Lithuania, I would mention three dates probably, 2005, 2000, 2010, and now 2015. Uh, probably the significant changes in the regulation will happen in 2016 and 17. 2005, they were the, the first pilot project started in, 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 in probably two courts of first instance. However, they were not probably as successful as uh, we are supposed. The law on mediation entered into force uh, in 2010. Still, it concerns uh, civil disputes and civil cases and concerns civil proceedings. Uh, and then there were little steps forward to promote the mediation. I will mention the numbers, why I'm telling so. And 2015 is the third date where the changes, the third step of change is probably made, which uh, the National Court Administration is happy to, to announce the numbers, which increased probably two times compared to last year of uh, mediated cases. So the numbers of mediation, mediated cases in Lithuania. This concerns uh, court annexed mediation cases, uh, and it was, well, to understand the, the proportion, there are 200,000 civil cases each year uh, received by the courts of Lithuania. Well, about uh, half of them, 100,000, uh, are regular dispute civil cases. So compared to the numbers of 
mediation, court mediation, which was 37 in 2013, and which was 33 in 2014, still the, well, the, the, the situation when the mediation is, is applied is still rather rare. But looking to the numbers of 2015, where there were 123 cases, well, the, the step forward is obvious. And I'm looking forward as well as, as all other institutions concerned with the promotion of uh, mediate, court mediation in Lithuania and mediation as, uh, in, in general. I'm looking forward that, that finally this will be through with, uh, with the, uh, well, the people will choose mediation, the, the lawyers will advise their clients uh, to try mediation and so on. A uh, new initiative of the government came uh, in 2015, uh, a concept of uh, on, family, uh, on mediation in, as, as a general, in general was uh, adopted uh, and this will uh, form the base for further changes in a legislation. Uh, well, the concept of on medi mediation talks about that uh, it should be promoted not only in civil proceedings, but as well in administrative and criminal law. Uh, it's, it is important that uh, it is still on the way. There are discussions going on, and we still don't know uh, what will be uh, adopted as a law, but this again makes uh, rather clear that uh, the significant changes are coming in, uh, to promote mediation. This is about what will be happening in the year 2016 and 2017. As a matter of fact, until now in Lithuania we have a system where we have a list of court annexed mediators and uh, the professionals who provide such kind of service and are not included in the list of uh, court annexed mediators. The law says that it is allowed to, to practice mediation. It's not so important to, uh, to be on the list. The only thing out of court mediation, the only thing, the requirement is that if you provide mediation services uh, for the remuneration under the payment, you must conclude a written agreement to do that. This is it. And my colleague psychologists were quite astonished when I was telling that, well, they were afraid to call themselves as a mediators, but on the basis of actual Lithuanian legislation, in fact, any person who practices mediation may call himself a mediator. Of course, yeah, he, he or she should be obliged to comply with the code of conduct of European uh, mediators and, and so on, but there is no uh, formal requirements to call oneself a mediator. This should change in the future, 2017, uh, the government uh, offers uh, the concept of law uh, to, to form a list of mediators, to introduce qualification exam for mediators, and only the person who will be on the list of mediators will be allowed to, to provide mediation service. As well as there are other important issues coming in Lithuania, well, and uh, there are still strong discussions about that in some cases, as mentioned in family law disputes, cases, conflicts, and the, the small amount, small claim, civil disputes, mediation should be uh, mandatory, obligatory, as a form of, uh, of pre-trial dispute resolution. Well, we will see how it happens, but still, the, the the concept is rather strong that it should be 
something done with uh, conflicting people, especially in family law disputes where I practice myself. Main challenges waiting for us, uh, still not well known among public and lawyers. Well, it is becoming more and more known, and of course there are lots of efforts uh, spent and the resources spent on, on promotion of mediation. Uh, there is one idea I would like to mention that uh, what I see in Lithuania, there should be done more work and cooperation with advocates, lawyers, because the lawyers are the ones who stand the closest, the client, and the judge, uh, whatever he or she is good, uh, and how professionally he tries to offer, choose mediation, the client will ask the, the, the lawyer sitting behind, sitting in the side to, to him, what is about mediation, what is this about? So first option, the lawyer doesn't know what is about, so the, the, the client will say to the judge, no, I don't want mediation at all. Uh, the, the better option is that the lawyer knows, but still is uh, probably, as will be the presentation, no, no, I don't believe it's not necessary. We can do that ourselves, negotiation and so. So the client again says, says to the judge, no, no, I don't need, we don't need, we do not, we do not accept mediation. So my idea is uh, in Lithuania, cooperation with lawyers, advocates, community should be developed to promote the mediation. Uh, if it is possible to get back a little bit, I, was, I would like to mention... Uh, regarding statistics in Lithuania, the, the, talking about court annexed mediation, there is a list of court annexed mediators and the number is increasing, which is important to mention. Uh, the number is uh, at the moment one, something around, uh, around uh, 130 in 2015. Last year it was 100. And as uh, I was informed in one conference, there are still 40 applicants pending to, to, for the application to, to include in the list of mediators. The number as itself indicates that mediation uh, becomes more popular among the professionals. And another important thing which I would like to mention in Lithuania is that we have a very good, well-developed electronic uh, court system, database, and uh, the way electronically to submit and receive documents from the court. And since the beginning of 2016, the special and separate functionality devoted for mediation was launched, which means that it is now possible and available to do the mediation online. The system guarantees the identification of the person who logs on to the system. And this is, uh, well, me, myself, I'm very happy to, to have such electronic way of mediation. This is official court system, electronic system. So time is up. I thank you very much. It's a pleasure to meet you. I will answer your question if there is anyone.